Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Grim Report. This one is, of course, about Elizabeth of South Carolina. Now, this is going to be short but sweet because there wasn't too much information on this thing. Even though there could have been a lot more to this, I went into it pretty good. But even though that it had a lot of potential, I thought it did. Because I looked it up. And then the information was... Minyo. Of course, the History Channel covered this once before. Monster Quest type of ordeal, Lizard Man. It has been covered before. So, I didn't want to go into, into death about something that a lot of people already know about. But I did find a few things that differ from the History Channel to this one. What do I mean by that? Well, I mean, you know me. I, I look for the internet. And I type in what I'm looking for. And then, bam, I usually, if I find something, I let you know. And in this case, I did find a little bit more information than what was on the History Channel. If you guys want more, of course, you can always go to the History Channel. They have that. They have this lizard man thing down packed. Now, what I found out was is that the History Channel had a couple of things wrong to it. Now, we all know this is not a very old legend because the first sighting was in June 29, 1988. That's where it differs from the History Channel, if I remember correctly. I'm not sure. If you don't believe me, please do. Look it up. Find out much more information than what you and if you want to know a lot about this, I'm just giving you a small snippet of what I found. Because, like I said, there wasn't a lot. So I had to narrow it down to a little bit of key points to get it out there. To get it the way I wanted it to be and the way that would under you guys would understand it. The ones that we know and the ones that was first reported. That was the first one that was reported. This is the one that we know, ones that we know about. There are some, of course, like with anything, there are some things that we do not know about. The unreported stuff. A lot of things go unreported. We know this. Because people don't want to seem like they're crazy. There are most likely some that are not reported. Like I said, like most things we know of. Everything. This thing was described as a tall, muscular, covered with dark hair and lizard-like skin. With three fingers on both hands. And three toes. So you're thinking about something that really... I guess it could be like this. Kind of like a T-Rex, you know. Think about a T-Rex, but like this, with bigger hands. <laughs> You really can't, if you try to grab much of anything, you really can't grab much with three fingers. I have not tested out, but I've seen people who tried it, and they have to stick it in between here, like this, or like this. It's not a lot to grab onto. You really couldn't squeeze much, because these things had claws in the end of their fingers, and they weren't like fingernails. They were like big, thick claws. So they... Could really only all they could do was scratch at you. I don't think they're made for grabbing, because you can only really pinch with this, with hands like this, because you really can't. There really, there's no making a fist like this for an actual grab. In any case, so like I said, it's covered in hair. No, as we know, lizards don't have hair. No lizard of any sort has hair. So, now, in a certain age, certain period in time, some raptors had feathers. Black feathers, I think they might have been colored. I'm not sure. We're not really sure. But they had feathers. 
They could be they could be misconstrued as feathers. I mean not feathers but as fur. Because they were so thick on them. So really at a distance because it really didn't say how close this guy was or how close these people were in proximity of this creature to actually say that yes it was feathers or yes it was fur. There's no real continuity with it. And the thing was muscular. And it was tall. So, what do we mean by tall? Well, tall could be anything. From how, like I said, how tall it was. It could be really tall. It could have been like six foot something, but it doesn't say. None of these say how tall it is. The History Channel might have had something on the height. I don't know. I didn't watch it too in depth, and I didn't want that to be part of what I know or what I found out on my own without any thing like that. Now, yes, it did tear up cars. It even said that in one report, it did tear up a car or something of that sort. So, it had to have enough strength to tear into a car, to bite into the car. We're talking about jaw strength. We're not talking about it dug into the car with its claws. We're talking about teeth biting into it. So, basically, it relied on its teeth. And muscular could have been anything within a doable range of strength physical strength as we could be talking like you know no fat on them they do look like a man from the reports say so it could be a muscular man or a very skinny man with uh, a good build so there's no actual zooming height that I know of tall like I said it could be anything three toes raptors have three toes if I'm if I'm correct they have like one that rips into you know kinda like a claw that'll go into they're called raptors for a reason so or uh, hawks and eagles are called raptors because of the way the claw is shaped that's you know because they rip and tear into things with that claw so you know as we know birds are descended from, if I'm correct, from dinosaurs. So, you know, like I said, one of the rap, the rap, one of the raptors, earlier late raptors, had feathers, thick coat of feathers, covered its. I think it covered its entire body. I'm not sure. But there have been no. No attacks on people, only attacks on vehicles. So, again, no attacks on people that I've read of or that I've heard of. So, that I've seen, like I said, there could be unreported reports. In other words, someone reported it, but it got blew off as myth or something. They were lost it or they were drunk or whatever. It could be tossed out. You know, police do that. Like, we know common people, you know, people see Bigfoot. It's taken and they call the police. It's like, no, we do about it. You know, for a stranger, whatever, call them. So, like I said, there could be unwritten reports about this creature. And we don't know about it. So, yeah, um... So far, nothing of the sort on these creatures, other than what I just told you. The description's very vague. Lizard-like, they didn't say skin color, they didn't say that. They said dark fur. Like I said, it could be misconstrued as feathers. So, like I said, I'm here to reform you as well as, you know, do what I do. But, like I said, no reports since... The 1980s about this thing, unless you watch the History Channel, they could tell you more. I think that in the 1996 was one of the reports. I'm not sure. I think it came out early 2000s. But other than that, nothing. 
Now, like I said, this is a short one. I was rambling a bit because I wanted to get this out there and you guys need to know about it. So with that said, like and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, good luck, good night, God bless.